Hello, YouTubers. Nomdman13 here with part 5 of the Call of Duty World at War walkthrough Their Land, Their Blood. Now, uh, this is my favorite mission of the whole campaign, so I'm gonna go as in depth as possible. So, in the beginning, you are still Petrankov, and it looks like you are captured. Now, as you try to go for this rifle, this guy p kicks you right in the face, and then for some random reason, the wall explodes. And the guys out there are like, oh no, we gotta save him. And then so they shoot this one guy, but then the other guys are still on the floor. And then it's, you find out that it's your friend, Reznov, whatever, and he's got his buddy, Chernov. And uh, so he's saying how he's like, oh yeah, yeah, we're back together. And then he told Chernov to like finish them off. And of course, you know, he's not doing that. And he's like, whoa, what are you talking about? They're already bleeding to death. And then so I'm like, oh, I'll do it. And then I knifed these two kids. Now, uh, they're still a little fast forwarding in this uh, level. But, you know, that's okay. So, right here, this guy was like dodging like a ninja. So, right here, you can pick, pick up an FG42. Uh, and then over there, you can pick up an, a PPSH. Uh, I don't know if you even saw that. but uh, And then this is the first mission where they introduce Molotov cocktails. And uh, I haven't really talked about this in any other mission but this this game is pretty graphic as you saw that one guy he was all burnt up he was coming out of the wheat field like you know limp and he was all burnt you know and I try to show a lot of that like showing all the legs and stuff because uh it's, it's like the first it's like the first called graphic Call of duty game like in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare they just like you know just a little blood sp splatter but this like their legs fly off you know and, uh, it's not with every weapon, though. It has to be with, like, a powerful weapon, like the FG-42 or the MG-42, which you pick up later. And the MG-42 is by far the weapon that you, like, the best weapon in this level. So, uh, after you're done t clearing these guys out, uh, you can just take out these guys, and then, uh, with my awesome aim right there. And then, uh, right there is an MG-42. And, uh, usually there's gonna be a guy who's already carrying one, so you get even more ammo. But, uh, I didn't come here fast enough. Oh, and right here, look, look at his, I think I show you his legs. Look at his legs are off. Just from shooting him in the legs, which, I don't know if that would really happen, because I personally have never been in war. Okay, so, uh, if you come back here, you can get some more MG42 ammo, uh, behind this wall, because there was two ways, there's two different ways you could go. I always choose right because of the, like, more MG ammo, but, uh, oh, I, I like, go ninja on this kid. And, uh, he had Marty Dome on, so, uh, make sure to throw those away. But, uh, yeah, the uh, right, if you go to the right, it's just a lot better because, uh, there is, uh, more MG ammo. So, you know, right here I get a nice triple spray. And, uh, in here there's some FG-42 ammo. And in the bunker, or like right across from it, if you keep on going straight right now, and just keep on going, there's some more FG-42 ammo. But uh, you're going to get rid of the uh, FG-42 ammo soon for a Panzer Shrek, which was like the bazooka, or RPGs of uh, this time. So, uh, I decided not to get the other FG-42 ammo because uh, it would have taken too long, and it actually is good because I this is just under 10 minutes with like the fast forwarding that I wanted to like fast forward um, and so actually right over here some more MG42 ammo and uh, so that's always handy and I just want to show you like his arm is like dead and stuffs this guy is nothing because he is legit and this is a kind of tough part not a tough part but I died from here before but, uh, these guys with the pan strikes are gonna come up on the balcony, and you are gonna wanna take them out as quickly as possible. Then trade your FG-42 for this pan strike and take out that tank right there. Then, uh, get some more ammo, because it's unlimited ammo right there, that's what's, like, glowing yellow. And then take out that tank, and then, then you're pretty much safe, because, uh, I missed the second bullet on, the, uh, the second rocket on that first one. Um, and so he, like went all the way back like into the fields and you could not see him so I was trying to like shoot randomly uh, with the Panzer Shrek into the fields to try and find him but uh, I died by him because he's legit so uh, once you get over here there's gonna be a couple guys that you want to take out and there's gonna be two more tanks
pretty simple, pretty simple. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, here's the second tank. They always take, they all take two Prandger Shreks, which is kind of annoying. I think it would be better if, like, depending on where you hit them, you know, like, do more damage and whatnot. But right here, just get uh, your Panzer Shreks out because he's going to be like, Oh yeah, your aim is so good, man. I think that's the part. And then he's going to be like, I'm going to go open the door. And then this tank's going to bust out. And then there's still more guys. Don't forget that there's still guys that uh, come out here. There's some more MG ammo. And then here's a death card. Uh, I probably cannot make the video for the death cards because... Uh, no, I, no I, I probably will. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and then he's like, ooh, why don't you go right on the back of the tank, because you deserve it. And then he's like, Chernov, you do not, because you're a fail. Which is pretty much what he says. So then, we, yeah. And that's what, this is why I fast-forwarded this part, because it's pretty boring. So I don't, after this, I don't think there's any more fast forwardage. I don't think. No, I do not believe so. Okay, so, um, as you're going to see, as you can see, there's, like, these tower things. And you want to take those out, uh, because that's what the objective is, I think. And because, there's, here's some more MG ammo. Like, they don't, like, you don't have enough already. And because I think they have, like, MGs in them and they can, like, shoot you. And it hurts. Okay, so right here you can see, uh, there's, like, another glowing Panzer Strike thing. And that means, like, there's unlimited ammo right there. So, uh, but right here I was waiting for this. There's a car that comes up with a bunch of guys and I think I hit it I don't really know if I hit it because I got like grenaded and it didn't even say I was grenaded so like there was no grenade indicator so I was like oh zong I'm gonna die but I don't die because I'm awesome so uh you just can take these guys out use your panda shrek and um yeah it's pretty simple take out another tower why not um yeah, not much else to say about the level, I guess. Um, I only have three more days of school. You'll be seeing this sun. You'll be seeing this Monday probably, unless you like. We'll see it Sunday night, because I'm gonna upload this at night. But uh, so uh, I will probably make another video on Tuesday of Burn 'Em Out, which is the next level mission. Oh, and I think I get a headshot, and you'll see. Uh, yeah, you'll see. I'll get a headshot. Boom, his helmet goes flying off, and his head is ripped off. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll make another video on Tuesday. It's a pretty short mission. It's called Burn Him Out, and you're back in Private Miller's shoes. And uh, you have a flamethrower again, so, you know, yay. But uh, I'll try to get that on Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to get make this, mis this uh, thing go as long as possible, to tell you the truth. Because I want to get, um, I want to take this to the beta, the Black Ops beta. Because then once I get the beta, I'm going to do, like, videos, like, every other day on that. Even if the gameplay is, like, horrible. If I go, like, 0 and 20, if it shows you, like, a, like a new gun or something, you know. Well, not if I go 0 and 20, but if, if I do get the Black Ops beta, which I'm pretty sure I will. Um, because, uh, I, I sent him my email, and you have to, like, confirm your email. So I went to confirm my email, and then it's like, this email has already been verified. So, oh, that was some good editing right there, guys. I died here, actually. It's like, this email has already been verified, so I don't know if that means I'll get some, uh, the E, the, ble uh, beta. Or maybe the beta is, uh, hooked up to the, is hooked up to World at War. You know, I, I don't really know. Uh, I hope it's hooked up to World at War. That would just be easier. A lot more people would do it. But, you know, I don't know. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm good either way. So, uh, yeah, right here I'm like, oh, God, I want to, I don't want to die. And I want to take out that, I wanted to take out that big truck thing. Um, yeah, so, I throw this at this guy because I'm mad at him. Uh, please, 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 please like if you liked it or dislike if you didn't like it. If you have a YouTube account because... It helps me out so much, um, and comment it, because some of my videos I have, like, a thousand plus views on, because a lot of people have commented and, and liked and disliked, especially, like, I, uh, a lot of them is because I have, like, hate, you know, like, I'm getting in arguments, and there's so many more comments, like, on it, so please just comment, please like, and I'll probably see you guys on Tuesday.